Welcome to the Akihabara Gachapon Quest. I was cruising around to downtown Tokyo, checking out the local Gachapon selection when I realized the collections were simply incredible. Case in point, we got animal skeletons inside fruits and vegetables. Ever want to own a banana, cucumber, or apple with an animal skeleton inside? Then today's your lucky day. They even have an eggplant and a sausage animal skeleton. Well, if you play your cards right, you could be the first kid on your block to own one of those. So let's see what else they got around here. Here we got another instant classic, a little thing I like to call Shiba Inus marking their territory. And as you can see, some of those dogs' urine varies from color to color. I think those poor dogs whizzing out some yellow urine are looking a tad underhydrated. I think someone better get those poor dogs a water bowl pronto, so let's see what other collections they got around here. What's that, a streetlight collection? What's that, a hermit crab inside a ramen shop collection? Man oh man, what will they think of next? I mean, hermit crabs are pretty cute, but what exactly is this collection all about? You mean instead of having a hermit crab living in a shell, I can have one living in a ramen shop, an igloo, a house, a haystack? And check it out, baby cakes, they even got one inside a Japanese-style castle. Well, these pretty much serve zero purpose whatsoever, but I should probably buy one just for research purposes. Oh man, just turning that dial gave me a crazy dopamine boost, and I'm wondering what kind of hermit crab I got. I'll be doing a little show and tell at the end of this video showing all the gachapon I purchased, but until then, chainsaws, baby. That's right, why own a real chainsaw when you can own an 85mm chainsaw and check it out, they even got them some weed whackers. That's a pretty nice weed whacker right there, a real nice weed whacker, and whoa boy, they got them a home clean collection. They got washing liquid, a hand broom, a dust bin. They got a washing bucket, washing gloves. Pretty much washing everything. Well, I guess if I ever need to give my hermit crab a bath, I've come to the right place. Anyway, the household and hardware items are all fine and good, but if I'm going to have an inanimate piece of plastic in my house, it should at least be cute, right? And wouldn't you know it, my prayers have been answered. We got us a ham and egg collection, aka hamsters with eggy wigs on top. I actually do need to buy one of these things, not for myself of course, but for a friend. I mean, I myself am not really a hamster fan per se, but I think everyone knows someone who is, right? So let's turn that dial. Don't you just love that satisfying crank and thud as that plastic orb whizzes through that machine? I know I do. So let's scope out another collection and check it out, baby. We got Kan Cho. This is that Japanese game where kids put their fingers together and shove them into an unsuspecting victim where the sun don't shine. I never really got the purpose of that game, but I guess you could say it's like the equivalent of a wedgie in America. All I know is you probably have to buy at least two of those gachapon to get the full effect. And whoa, baby, check it out. Dobutsuzo, the Animal Buddha Collection. Basically, what we got here is a veritable safari of animals channeling their inner Buddha. You know something? I didn't think that a chunk of molded plastic could be spiritual or zen, but actually, I think it kind of is. But whoa, boy, whoa, 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 wait a sec, hold the phone. Who needs spirituality when you can have a urinating animal? Doesn't it just warm your heart to see this natural act of interspecies bonding? It makes me feel hopeful for the future to see a rabbit and a panda just urinating together like that. So I think I'll give it a whirl and whoa, boy, I just accidentally dropped that coin, but I did recover it pretty quickly. I'm trying to act natural after dropping that coin, but I can feel that the owner of this shop is staring a hole through my soul right now. But I'm about to move on with my life because I just came across a gachapon machine gachapon. It's pretty meta in my book. We basically got a gachapon machine that accepts a 100 yen coin and comes with miniaturized capsules inside. You can either win one of the three machines or you can win an entire set of Gachapon mini capsules themselves. 
What are you going to be able to fit in that small capsule anyway? Some sawdust? And whoa boy, we got us some finger sushi? I mean literally finger sushi and tongue and ear and eyeball and brain? That's some weird wild stuff right there. Might be good for a Halloween decoration, but otherwise it's not really my cup of tea. You know what is my cup of tea though? A little thing I like to call a polar bear spooning a piece of salmon flesh. The thing's basically sleeping on a plate while holding a finely cooked piece of salmon. We got a dog inside a sandwich bun, we got a fox inside an inari sushi, and we got a kitty cat inside a cream puff. Well, you can't go wrong with a little food animals now, can ya? So I got myself some shrapnel on deck and I turned that dial. Question is, did I get that polar bear? You best be sticking around till the end of the video to find out. In the meantime, well frogs. It's the craze that's sweeping the nation. Get yourself a well frog while they're hot. I mean, just look at the incredible possibilities with that smiling frog. We got a wooden roof well, a pulley system well, the classic open air well, tile roof well, we got a hand pump well, all complete with its very own frog. How I ever managed to avoid buying one of those is one of life's biggest mysteries. So what do we got here? We got animal magnets. So basically you hold a note, photograph, or postcard between a halved animal, nice. I can't actually think of any circumstance where I'd ever need to do that, but it is kinda cool. Plus they got themselves all kinds of animal magnets over here, all different kinds. Anyway, that's a pretty nice collection right there. A decent collection, so let's see what the next one is and check it out, baby, we got some imposter animals. It's a hippo masquerading as a freaking elephant. How do you like that one? What else we got here? A bulldog masquerading as a retriever? That looks like Daoception right there. So what other kind of imposter animals do they got? We got one type of fine mother fluffin feline trying to be another type of feline. And I think this is a pretty nice collection. In fact, I'm gonna go on ahead and pull that trigger, sweetie buns. So let's get out that coinage nice and easy like. I wouldn't want to be dropping any more coinage now, would I? So I put those things in all nice and careful like, and then I turned that dial. So after acquiring those five mighty fine gotcha pones, I sprinted on back to my apartment and started inspecting them all up close and personal like. My heart was drawn to this greenish colored capsule, so I picked it up with a tenderness as if I was picking up a newborn babe. Got that promotional paper out the way. And what do we got here, baby cakes? I think this is the food animal collection, so let me open up that bad boy with my handy dandy travel scissors. And take a gander at that, those two bread bun pieces linked together like puzzle pieces. So let's take a look inside this bread bun and oh, man. Inside those two pieces of plastic, there appears to be yet another piece of plastic, little thing I like to call a dog. I'm sorry, did I just say dog? Because I think I meant to say dog. Look at that little doggy just chilling right there with his tongue in the air like he just don't care. I think that's actually a black pug, but I don't know exactly. All I know for sure is I've weighed the pros and I've weighed the cons, and even for me, it's plain to see that that right there is a pretty nice dog. It seems like that bread bun forms a warm, protective sanctuary cocoon of sorts that protects that Tao against all the worries of this imperfect world. So let's move on to the next gacha pone capsule, which appears to have the ham and egg gacha pone inside. And what the heck, this thing's welded together or something? They're trying to keep me away from my ham and eggy wig prize. So let me get that promotional paper out the way and let's take a look at the gacha pone. And wow, just wow, take a look at that kawaii to the max hamster. It's basically just sitting there in a ball of fluff and it's got an eggy wig on its back. It's got cute eyes, a cute nose, cute feet, pretty much cute everything. Granted it does serve zero purpose whatsoever, but I can't help but feel like that gachapone and I have a spirit link of sorts. I feel like we knew each other in a previous life, and I could have sworn that inanimate piece of plastic just winked at me. So let's mosey on over to the urinal animal Gachapone, which is apparently Sato Kunio's animal. 
Who in the wide, wide world of sports is Sato Kunio, and why is he associated with urinal animals? That's one of the mysteries of our modern times. So what do they do? Super glue this thing together and oh, man, I actually got the capsule open. Now, aside from that promotional paper, what do we got here? It seems like what we got in our hands is two gotcha pones in one. I guess these gotcha pones are quite tiny compared to the hippo and panda I saw in that promotional paper. So I guess in this case they include two because these gotcha pones are so freaking small. We got us a frog and a kitty cat. So let me snip that open with a precision instrument to unveil the tiled floor and of course the urinal itself. Wow, baby, just think about it. They put the greatest minds at work to create these incredible pieces of art. They could have used those gotcha pwn engineers to create life-saving tools or gadgets for the developing world, but instead they used them to create a miniaturized cat with an orange peenie. Honestly, though, why is that cat's peenie orange? Is that some way to censor it or something? I mean, I don't spend my days looking at cat dicks, but I'm pretty sure last time I checked, kitty cats do not have orange peenies. Anyway, just look at that thing whizzing up a storm. I kind of like that urinating kitty. Only problem is he's looking a tad lonely, so you best believe I'm about to get that frog on deck. And check him out, baby. Kind of looks like Pepe the Frog, but right about now, I'm wondering the same exact thing that you're wondering, which is where is that orange peen? I mean, I'm not a zoologist or anything, but I think frogs might have internal wee-wees. So in that case, I'm not really sure how it would use a urinal, but to quote Jeff Goldblum, life finds a way. Anyway, take a look at that kitty cat and frog answering the call of nature together. Is that a big frog or a really small kitty? Perhaps we'll never know, but what I do know for sure is after taking a quick look at that promotional paper, I kind of wanted to get myself a hippo or a panda. It just feels like having a massive animal would really complement the two small ones I have. Then again, that penguin with the chick is pretty nice as well. But hey, I'm getting a tad off topic, so let's move on to this off-white gotcha pwn capsule. And oh baby, what do we got here? Is this the hermit crab collection? It most definitely is. Let me take a look, baby cakes. Just gotta use my high-tech, state-of-the-art, precision, aerodynamic travel scissors to open it up. So let's start with that hermit's happy home, which appears to be a Japanese-style castle. Look at that white and blue castle structure, complete with a stone foundation. I'd say it's pretty buck wild. And look at that blue hermit crab. I think it's looking kawaii to the mother fluffin' Max. Just gotta get this castle over here and put that pole through that hole. It's a little bit of a tight fit though, so let me get another angle, get two fingers on that thing, and... Oh! Man, what do you think of that gotcha pwn, sweetie buns? Because personally, I think it's looking swell as a bell, cute as a flute, and as keen as a peen. Considering a lot of gotcha pwn cost 300 yen these days, I'd say this 200 yen hermit crab was money well spent. In fact, I'd go as far as to say as it was money real well spent. So now it's time to move on to the fifth and final gotcha pwn, a little thing I like to call the imposter animal. So could it be the dog pretending to be a dog or the kitty cat pretending to be a kitty cat? I think it's something different. I think it may just be the hippo pretending to be an elephant. So let's give it a snip here, a snip there, and now it's time to liberate the hippo and whoa boy. That's a pretty nice hippo right there, but I can't help but feel like it's hatching some kind of diabolical scheme. I don't think this hippo's living life on the straight and narrow if it's dressing up as a whole other species now, is it? Perhaps this crazy ass hippo is trying to infiltrate to the elephant ranks. But whatever that hippo is up to, I still have a feeling that deep down it still has the best intentions at heart. Anyway, if you want to join in and partake in your very own gotcha pwn quest, then you better join up on my latest greatest subscription pack service, a little thing I like to call the gotcha pwn hunter. It's a great way to improve your life one inanimate piece of plastic at a time, and I got that subscription box link down below in the description box. So thanks for watching this video everybody, and I hope you have a real nice day.